So I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your busy day to learn some marketing tips. And we have Josh and Charlotte. They're actually from Pure Light Power. So they're going to have lots of great tips. So I'm going to turn it over to them. Sweet. All right, everybody. I'm really excited to talk about um, you guys' lemonade day. So my name is Josh and um, I'm a marketer. And so uh, marketing is something that's really cool and really important for entrepreneurs. Um, and what it has to do with is it has to do with people who have problems. And so there's a bunch of people out there who have problems, whether they're hungry or they're tired or maybe they're, um, they're sick or maybe they're bored and they want something to do. And most importantly, maybe they're thirsty, right? Maybe they want something to drink or maybe they want um, something to cool them down. And so our job as marketers is to help them find the solutions that will solve their problem. And so for all these people on Lemonade Day that are going to be thirsty or wanting something to drink and all these people who are going to be maybe hot because it's hot outside, our job is to help them find your guys' awesome lemonade. And so there's a bunch of really cool things that you can do to help people find your lemonade. Um, but the downside is it's not always easy. People with, you know, they want something to drink. They don't always know where your lemonade is, right? And so there's all these roadblocks, all these things that make it hard for the people with the problem to find the solution to their problem. And so our job as marketers is to go through all these problems and break them down, come up with really cool ways to fix them. And so that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about all the ways that you guys can make your lemonade stand, stand out and help all these people that are thirsty um, solve their problem. And so the things that we're going to talk about, the first one is your booth. We're going to talk about where your location is. We're going to talk about how to promote and get the word out around your lemonade stand. We're going to talk about the lemonade itself. We're going to talk about customer service, how to deal with your customers, how to interact with them. And then we're going to talk about something called your point of sale. And so, yeah, let's just get into it. So your booth is really, really important. Your lemonade stand is really important because it is the biggest way that you can tell people about your lemonade, right? So if I'm walking down the street and I see your lemonade stand and it doesn't tell me that you sell lemonade, then I don't know to go up to you and buy lemonade from you if I'm searching for lemonade. So it's really important that your lemonade stand is awesome, that it grabs people's attention and it tells people about the fact that you, that you sell lemonade. It tells people maybe how much it costs to buy your lemonade you can tell people what's special about your lemonade. Maybe you like donate some of the money from your lemonade to a local business. Maybe you do something special with your lemonade. And so your lemonade stand is really important to share that and to get people's attention, to tell them what you do. Now, the other part that's really important about your lemonade stand is that you can get it to where you're gonna be. Because if you make this really big, awesome lemonade stand, but you can't get it to your spot, then it's kind of hard to use your lemonade stand. So you want to make sure that you make something really cool that's very clear about what you do, but you want to make sure that you can break it down, build it back up, move it to your location. And next up is location, because location is really important. It's really important for you to find a place where there's a ton of people who want your lemonade. And so I know you guys are doing lemonade day on the first Friday next week, which is, or two weeks. And it's really, really awesome that you guys are doing it that day because there's gonna be a ton of people walking around Grants Pass searching for lemonade because they're gonna be thirsty or they're gonna be tired. They've been walking, maybe it's hot outside. And so that's a really awesome place for you to have your booth. And so it's really important that your booth is in a spot where there's a bunch of people coming by because that means there's more people who can buy your product. And so the way you find a good location one of the really cool things about Lemonade Day is you can reach out to companies around Grants Pass and you can ask them if you can put your booth in front of their store. And so um, there's a bunch to that, but it's really cool uh, way to get more people to find your lemonade, just to put it in a great spot. And sometimes you might not necessarily be in the best spot, but that's okay, because there's other ways to get people to come to your lemonade stand. And so even if you're not like in the perfect place, you can still get the word out about your lemonade stand through promotion. And so one of the things you can do is you've got your parents who have social media, they've got Instagrams and TikToks and Facebooks, and you can ask your parents if they can make a video with you or make a post 
about your lemonade stand, talking about when it's going to be, where it's going to be, maybe something special about your lemonade. And they can make a post, they can share it with their friends, and then they can get a lot of people to come to your lemonade stand as well. But there's other ways that you can get people to come to your lemonade stand. You can make these flyers too. So you can make flyers about, again, when's your lemonade stand going to be? Where are you going to be located? What's special about your lemonade? And share these with your friends, with your family. Um, just get as many people to know about your lemonade stand before it even happens. So that even if you are in a great spot or maybe you're not in the perfect spot, you can still get a lot of people to come to your lemonade stand. And so, so far we've talked about you need a really awesome booth, something that looks really cool and gets people's attention, gives people a lot of information about your lemonade. You need to be in a really good location and you really need to get the word out about your lemonade stand before lemonade day. And so the next thing we're gonna talk about is your lemonade itself. And so it's really, really important. You're helping all these people who are thirsty. Maybe they're hot. It's really important that the solution that you have, which is your lemonade, is really cool. And so there's all these things you can do to make your lemonade special or unique or awesome. And you, um, you can make maybe popsicles with your lemonade. Maybe you make lemonade with little like lemons sliced up in the lemonade. Maybe you can change the color. There's all these different colors you can make your lemonade in. You could maybe like add ice to your lemonade or maybe you sell something alongside your lemonade as like a gift. So maybe you give people lemonade or you sell the lemonade and then you give people a cookie or you sell lemonade and you give them like a voucher from the business that you're standing outside of. Or maybe you sell the lemonade and then there's also like bracelets or little pieces of artwork that you can give them as well. And so you're just searching for ways to make your lemonade really, really awesome and special because it helps the people who have the problem find you. Now there's a couple other things that you can do. Um, to make your lemonade cool, but you guys are super creative. So you're going to find a bunch of awesome things. Um, so I'll let you do that on your own. But the next thing that's really important, there's two of them. The first one is customer experience. And so everybody that comes to buy from you is a customer, right? And it's really important that the people that come to buy your lemonade have a good experience. They liked buying your lemonade. They liked your lemonade. They liked you. They liked your booth and they had a good time because if they did, then they're going to go and they're going to tell their friends and their friends are going to come back and you're going to get more people to come to your lemonade stand. And so you want an epic customer experience. And the way you have an epic customer experience is you be nice and you be polite and you be friendly and kind and you make the process of buying your lemonade really, really easy. Because if you're mean and grumpy and angry, nobody's going to like getting your lemonade and they're not going to tell their friends to come back to your lemonade stand. But if you're nice and courteous and polite, and you're really friendly, then people will like you. Maybe they'll even give you tips as well. And then you can make more money on their friends who come back. And so another part of that customer experience is this thing that we call point of sale. And now point of sale is really simple. It's the time when the customer gives you money for your lemonade. That's the point when the sale happens. And so you want the point of sale to be really, really easy. And the reason you want it to be easy is because if it's hard for somebody to give you money, then they're going to not want to do it, right? And so if we make it really, really easy for people to give us money, right, for our lemonade, then more and more people are going to do it. And so there's two ways that people are going to pay you. The first one is cash. And so if people are giving you cash, the way that we can make that process really, really easy is by making sure that we have enough change. Because if we don't have enough change, then we, have, we don't have the ability to make that really easy because somebody might give us a ton of money and we like don't have the, the change and then it gets complicated and confusing. And so if we make sure that we have enough change that's really easy, then everybody comes to our store and we just give them the right amount of change, really easy, simple, and they're more likely to come back again. Now, the second way that people are gonna pay you is through digital payment. And so it's basically if somebody doesn't have cash on them, They've got all these other accounts with money in them that they can give you money, but there has to be a certain tool in place in order to do that. And so there's a couple tools called Venmo. You can use um, like Apple Pay and a couple other things like that. And you want to connect with your parents to basically set up a Venmo account or something like that to accept payments for your lemonade. And so when you create this Venmo account, what you'll do is you can also connect it to something called a QR code which is just this funky looking image. 
And you can download this funky looking image onto your lemonade stand. You can put it on a little card. You can put it on the booth itself. And when people scan it with their phone, they can actually pay you digitally. And so this is really important because there's going to be a whole ton of people on lemonade day that aren't carrying cash on them, but they do want your lemonade. And so if you offer Venmo as a way to collect payment, it's going to mean that there's all these other people that you can help solve problems for. And so Venmo is one of the easiest tools to actually do that. So in summary, we've got um, customers who have problems, right? And the problem that people have is they're thirsty, they're tired, or maybe they're really hot and they want your lemonade. And so your job as entrepreneurs and marketers is to make it as easy as possible for those people with the problem to find your lemonade. And the things you got to focus on, you got to focus on having an awesome booth. You got to make sure that you've got a really good location and you've got to promote, you got to get the word out around your lemonade stand. You've got to make something awesome about your lemonade, something special, something unique. And you've got to make sure that you have really, really awesome, epic customer experience. And then you've got to make the point of sale as easy as possible. And if you do all those things, you're going to have an awesome lemonade day. You're going to sell a bunch of lemonade and you guys are going to be able to do a whole bunch of stuff in the future when you start more and more businesses down the line. Um, but that's all I got for marketing. And that's how you guys can market your lemonade stand. All right. Charlotte, is there anything you wanted to add? No, just that we're extremely excited to help everybody out. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Well, Jen, Bethany, and the other group of three ladies, do you guys have any questions? You know, as you're going through your workbook or anything? Okay. Well, great. So the other thing I just wanted to remind everyone, if you, once you have your location, you have your stand name, you want to make sure that you add it to the map at lemonadeday.org slash grants pass, because we'll be using that map to advertise to everyone where they can find you. And you'll want to put in what type of products you're selling, uh, because people will look through that. And definitely take into account what Josh said about finding something special and cool to sell. All right, Bethany, you have a question that there was businesses that were wanting a lemonade stand in front of them. We do. Uh, so I can definitely email you some options if that works. All right, great. Well, any other questions or anything or comments? All right, well then we'll end it there. A big thank you to Josh and Charlotte for joining us. And we definitely wish you all success and we'll see you on August 4th. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye everyone.